For someone who never wears pinks and reds, I sure do have a lot of Valentine's Day palettes. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So for today, I'm going to share with you all my top palettes that are just inspired by Valentine's Day. These are palettes in my collection that obviously it's just perfect for at this time of the year. Some of them may not be available anymore. I have no idea. I just went through my collection and just got out the palettes that look really cute for Valentine's Day. I'm not trying to get you to buy any of these palettes. I'm just trying to say, hey, if you have these in your collection, pull them out and use them. I'm just trying to give you an excuse to pull these out of your collection and wear a cute pink look. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let me just get out some, I think like the number one that I'm most excited before. I think I'm going to wear this one on Valentine's Day. This is a Dreamer palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. She is a beauty. It's neutral and you get some fun pops. You get the pinks, the purples, some grungy tones in here. I love this. You can go super pink, smoky. You can just, there's nothing like this palette. You can do everything thing with so this one is just for me I'm gonna reach for this one on Valentine's Day I'm most excited for this one I have a few from Unearthly I just wanted to do like honorable mentions the Devour Power the, the, the Devour palette this one's also newer to me I just think that like some of these fun iridescents with the reds and like some of these greens it just makes me think of like a beautiful garden you know so I just I had to mention that one as well I have two more from Unearthly just to kind of pop in here while I have them. So if you have the Heather Austin Resurgence palette, get this one out because there is a gorgeous pink and red and like all the shimmers you could pair beautifully with it. This one right here, it's just like year round, but I wanted to mention it because that pink and the red and the shimmers, they just look so beautiful. And this one right here, this is the Strawberry Milkshake. I mean, hello, how cute is this? Like, definitely pull her out if you have her. It gives you an excuse to use this palette. So those are all my unearthly palettes that I wanted to mention. Let me just start off by saying I did not want to get out all my Pat McGrath palettes because... Every single Pat McGrath palette, for the most part, is Valentine's Day inspired. You know, like the pinks and the purples and the golds. You know what I'm talking about. But, I mean, Bridgerton, like, sexy hello. Pull your Bridgerton palettes out if you do have them because it's just a good time to use them. You have them, so you might as well use them. This was the first go around. Cute. And then this is the second one, if I could open it. Here's the second one. So, definitely pull out your Bridgerton palettes or any Pat McGrath palette, for that matter, because you know, somewhere in that palette, there's pink in it. Uh, let me just also point out this one from Melt Cosmetics. This is a Gemini 2 palette. I wore this one last year. This is like a grungy garden. It is so pretty. I love these tones. So get her out, dust off all the dust, you know, obviously wipe her off and use her. This one right here, I'm wearing one of the shades on my eyes. This is a Glaminatrix Cosmetics Rich Romantic palette. I have the shade Romantic, just kind of like dusted all over. I have a few of these palettes on my eyes. I'm going to kind of like tell you what shade. This one is just so pretty, so definitely use it if you have it. A lot of the shimmers in here kind of lean green. I don't know. It's just I love reds, pinks, and greens. Like, throw them. I love greens, obviously, but there's something about pinks and greens in palettes that just, they make me feel Valentine's Day. Probably unpopular opinion, but I'm here for it. This one is from Gourmand Girls. This is a Warrior's... Warriors Wear Pink palette in collaboration with Sierra Soto. This right here, obviously, like, this is Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? Pull it out. Use it. I, today, I use just this basic brown warrior. Just, I wanted, like, a very soft pink, like, I don't know, girly, flirty look, but nothing too dramatic. This palette's beautiful. The quality is amazing. It's just such a pretty palette. It's like that girly, girly pink one. You know what I mean? They did such an amazing job. This one is from Davina Cosmetics. This is the Fantasia palette right here. This one, oh, it is so special. The shimmers, they look so, look, like, just so luxurious on the eyes. They're beautiful and sparkly. I'm wearing this one right here, just this pinky peach shade, kind of lightly dusted. These are really intense, but I just wanted to kind of, like, I don't know, kind of dust it on my eyes so it wasn't too intense and vibrant, but... There's something about this palette that just every time I use it, I'm like, oh my goodness, it is stunning. This peach makes it for me. And I love like these purples. It's pretty. It's like wearable color. You know what I mean? There's just something about it. And guess what? There's a pop of green. Pop of green, man. It just makes every palette. I'm telling you. Um, I'm wearing this one today. This is the Gothic palette from Cosmic Brushes. I love this black packaging. It's just so sexy. And then this is the color story. Such a stunner, man. Also, the, what are you called? What is it? The Muse palette. You could so pull that out. It's like basic neutrals. Pops and like mauves and pinks and purples are in that one as well. But I just wanted to mention one. This one right here. It's so pretty. I have the shade Lace and Immortal all over my lids and my crease. 
she's a stunner and I just there's something about their packaging it's so aesthetically pleasing I don't know man there's just something about that gets me every time let's switch it up and get away from like all the girly pinky vibes and let's do an anti-valentine's day palette this is the chucky palette from glamla it's a little scary oh my goodness I don't like it but I mean she's cute I like the anti-valentine's day it's okay am I gonna reach for this no but like if you have it and that's your vibes do it now let's talk about another anti-Valentine's Day kind of aesthetic. The Schools and Roses from Kaima Beauty. I love the packaging. The color story is beautiful. If you have this palette, oh, you already know how stunning it is. I got this on sale and that's exactly what I think it's worth, that sale price. I'm so happy about it. But there's just something about them and they're so beautiful. Like this shade, where are you? Oh my goodness. Oh, Sorcery. It is out of this world. Beautiful. Let me just wop that off. Most of these palettes already have reviews and looks with on my channel. Let's go into Nomad Cosmetics uh, Love and Death palette. Like, hello. She's a stunner. This was the first time Nomad ever sent me a palette, and I about lost my mind. Whenever I saw this, I'm not even kidding. You have, like, two nine pans, or you could have this one beautiful palette. I love the mix with the reds and, like, some more grungy tones. They did such an amazing job. The shimmers in my palette have hard pan, but... I don't care. I just dig in there and I can still get a little bit of kick up, or not kick up. I can get a little bit of pigmentation. So next I wanted to mention the Smoky Glam Palette from Bella Beauty Bar. If you have this one, you know it is just so soft and romantic. It's beautiful. Like you, you can go super soft and flirty or very smoky, date night, grungy. This palette, there's, I know it's large, but it's beautiful and the quality it is just stunning. Okay, this one from Adept Cosmetics. I was like, should I have like sparkle all over me? I wasn't going to mention it, but Sumerian Sunset for me, it's perfect for those like fire pops in here. Is it like a val Valentine's Day in your face? No, but for me, I love like with some of these neutral, like the greens with the reds. Like what is it? Why am I like this? Why for Valentine's Day do I like green? Like that's not Valentine's Day. Why in my head do I have that? I don't know, but there's just something about this palette. Like, there's pinks and reds, and there's just a fiery intenseness with these shimmers. Use it. Um, do I want to pair this one with, like, do I want to pair this one and Dreamer together this Valentine's Day? I kind of think I might. I, I think I might do that. Okay, the next two palettes, they kind of look similar on the eyes. Hear me out. This one is Rose Quartz. This is from Huda Beauty. This was the one I wore, like, two years ago. This one right here. Talk about being soft, elegant, just, like, color but like wearable color you know it they're so pretty these shimmers are lovely I, like i said i wore this one a few years ago and also i just wanted to mention this one from odin's eye they kind of give me like the same feels i don't know there's just something about it that they kind of remind me of each other i had these nails and i can't open any palette i'm not a big fan of the huda packaging i'm very un unpopular opinion but these two there's just something about them. They give me the same vibes. There's just, man, I don't know. There's something about the tones in here that are so unique. I love them. There's something about, like, the navies with the pinks. It does it for me. And, like, these two palettes, I just I have very similar shades in here. They just, they look very similar on the eyes. It's just, like, the way they sparkle. The shimmers are lovely in both of those palettes. I could go on and on about all the palettes. I have two left that I'm going to share with you because they're so beautiful and special. This is from Inslee Rain. This is the Lands of Enchantment palette i mean she's a stunner like look at this you know it's big and beautiful and it's the soft like purple pinks and the blues that just it's so pretty these shades are gorgeous if you have this i think you should use it for valentine's day it's just perfect and the shimmer fay she's a stunner i'm telling you use it use that shade you have to use that and like layering it over the purples in this palette Less. And the last one I want to mention, this is Cold Moon from Inslee Rain Cosmetics. I am in love with this palette. So if you love neutrals and cool tones and like you want some of these mauve shades with the purples and the pinks, this is the dream Valentine's Day palette. I love it so, so much. <laughs> well, my son just busted in, so I better go help out him and his dad and see what that was all about. <laughs> about gave me a heart attack. But that's going to do it for today's video. I have so many palettes that are just so fun and flirty and like girly for Valentine's Day that I wanted to share with you all. It was nearly impossible to pick 10, and I just wanted to pull out all of these, so maybe to inspire you to pull them out of your collection. Don't forget, you have them. Maybe use one each day leading up to Valentine's Day. Leave in the comments down below what palette are you eyeing for Valentine's Day like which one is going to be the one I feel like dreamer but also cold moon kind of has my heart and at some point I'm going to have to put like a fiery iridescent shade somewhere along the line you know what I mean but that's going to do it for today's video wherever you are in the world I hope you're doing well I hope that you are healthy happy and safe stay beautiful bye guys